in this first 45. And UNCG will head the opposite direction. They are in the home-based white uniforms, and they will move from right to left. Here we have a huge benefit once conference play starts in Conference Carolinas. And that actually gets going on Friday. Chance here for the Spartans. Top of the 18, moving in. Looks like Reyes had it knocked away. Now gets it the other season, so they get that title. They finish the runner-up in the tournament, which was hosted in Greensboro at UNCG Soccer Stadium. Hard foul, top of the 18, play on, on advantage. Moving in and firing, and that's deflected away. For the Spartans, UNCG meeting Division II Belmont Abbey here this evening. The Crusaders coming in with a record of 0-2 UNCG. At in the lineup, as you would expect for this Crusader, spot, Crusader side. Chance here, moving in front, double teams and looking for space, firing in right into the waiting arms of Stanger. Noah Stanger, all UNCG, pushing the offensive button here. First touch for Stanger, looking to hand off defensively. The rest of that starting 11, Davis McBee up front, along with Aaron Madison. Those are the two to watch for Belmont Abbey. Madison wears seven and McBee wears five. Crusaders can't get out of their own end. Little miscommunication on the back line, but able to get it up to Davis McBee, but now taken away by UNCG, but only momentarily knocked away and last touched by the Spartans in their attacking third. The Abbey has the speed up front with the two we've mentioned a bunch already, McBee and Madison. So if they get free, Spartans will certainly be aware of that. But it's been all UN. They understand that. They play a hybrid style, direct and indirect, and that's directly related to their roster of Americans and international players. Here's UNCG, they're looking to get on the board. Osman has his foot knocked away. Can he keep it in? Yes, he can. And for space and dropping back. Nearly the entire. From McBee, it'll be Linskog getting the goal on the assist from Aaron Madison. Still, the offense has been... Spartans with just had to put it within the frame, and he was able to do so, and into the back of the net to give Belmont Abbey the lead. Very aggressive a play off his further. And they'll settle in. Belmont Abbey dropping as many as nine back. They've got board starting up as well, college softball. UNCG has Kentucky coming into town later this week. And of course, chance though here for UNCG. Shot with the right, won't necessarily used to a competitive match on February the 17th. Here's a nice through ball. It's Albert looking to get through, still going through. Stanger dives, makes this up with the left paw. And Albert making that immediate. Two fingers and all set. Osman camped out right in front of the keeper, Stanger. All headed that way. Up. Got loose and the diving header from Linskog. That holds up at the moment as the lone brace. One to the same date, February the 6th. And a 4-1 loss to Carson Newman this past weekend at home. 1-1 one, one here, though. UNCG looking to take the 2-1 lead shot. Now taken away. Here's an opportunity. Stanger well out of his cage. Moving in. Firing a pass across. Is it offside? Will it count? Yes, it will. UNCG takes the 3-1 lead. And a tough break for Belmont. I mean, they couldn't get out of their own end. And the Spartans have taken a two-goal lead. Deek and across. It's an onside play. Road in Wilmington. Some space here. Unity UNCG moving in. Pass drop back. Firing and oh, what a stop. Big time stop. Big time shot. But Stanger the better of it.
That was an absolute rocket shot from Cologne. My, my, let's take another look. Drop back, maybe not intentional, but boom. Action, you never know. Again, Ben Canoost out in the concussion protocol. And that could last a couple of more contests. UNTG on rushing left. See if Cowie to face a shot. In a way, trying to go inside a bit. Direction of Mangarov. This one sent in long distance. Over near the corner flag, it can be kept. Cross coming, looking for a teammate. This one miss hit, but hold on a minute. We saw this earlier, miss hit it. The head, Reyes with space. Called his name quite a bit in this one. Here's a nice through ball opportunity. Gilly has it deflected on the way through. One are coming for uh, UNCG. It will go short and likely elect just to take some time off of the clock. They get through all the way into the box and it will result in a penalty. A penalty kick coming here late in the contest. Here we go. Approaching the ball. And twine. Four to one. UNCG takes the lead. The PK goal gives a three goal advantage to the Spartan side, and they will most certainly pick up their first win of this 2021 spring season as we take another look. The deliberate approach. And finding the back of it to the one assist that he has already this evening. His first career collegiate goal. And he'll now check out after that score as we move.